Welcome back. It's Tuesday night with your favorite cigar show, Cigar Time. And I've got some exciting news that I've not filled anybody in on. We have been advised by the station that Cigar Time is the highest rated half hour cigar program in the entire United States. <laughs> I think that's to be applauded. On today's Thanks. show, Thank we're going to start out with the Eduardo Suave, and Rob's going to tell you all about it. Uh, yeah, this is our original Eduardo. Um, it's got a Colombian filler, uh, Connecticut seed, Ecuadorian wrapper, and an Indonesian binder. So, it's very good. I it's love the original. This cigar. It is the original. It is the original. Oh, wow. We've had these cigars. We've had these cigars for ten years ten now. Years. Wow. Is it ten years now? Two thousand four. Wow. We brought one of our largest selling cigars. It is. Yeah, Still absolutely. Alive. And, and the irony. It's my favorite again. Oh yeah. no. Wow. And the irony about it: when we first started selling them ten years ago, they were four dollars a piece. And now they're yeah. four fifty. They raised the tax. The federal tax went from basically a nickel to forty-five cents. And about four years ago, when they raised the tax, we raised the price to four fifty. So we've kept the price that way. We've tried to keep it low, and yeah. it's a very, very good and popular cigar. It's only one only went up fifty cents in ten years. It's not yeah. bad. No, <laughs> not bad at all. Yeah. So I tell you what, it's been a while since I've had a Suave, and yeah. this is good. This is know, it's a fantastic cigar. It's mm -hmm. got a little bit, a little bit of nuttiness and some. Uh, I guess I got a little bit of cinnamon. Got a nice cinnamon. Cinnamon. Lot of the flavor. Cinnamon. Yeah, you don't, don't like cinnamon. It's <laughs> been a long time since I've had one of these. I'm getting something sweet fantastic. out of it. It's fantastic. Yeah. It's very good. It's very unique because it's got Colombian filler. Not many cigars it's the only one, uh, it? use Columbia, all 100% yeah. Colombian filler. So I th I it's think very what's unique. distinctive. I it think is. with us, we smoke so many different cigars in the course of a week or a month. Yeah. That, you know, sometimes we forget about our old reliables. Right, exactly, yeah. And what, man? We all, before we started, we were like... Yeah, we were Ooh, remarking. Know, yeah, right? we couldn't believe it. <laughs> it's fantastic. I mean, this is a should lot we, better. Should we mention that this is rolled in our own factory? Yeah, this is rolled in our own Republic? factory. Yeah, in Santiago, Dominican Republic. Yep. My sister-in-law. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I can't get over it. We we get sidetracked and we don't smoke them enough. I know. It's going to become my new favorite cigar. I yeah. see. It's going to be. The customers, as soon as you walk into our humidor, it's right in the front. Yeah, it hits you right in the front. Can't miss it. Can't miss it. Yeah. And all we right. have signs that tell you all about the cigars as well, too. Yeah. So. Well, Tia, I think it's time for you to tell us about our first uh, oh, non-Eduardo cigar. No, no, no. We're going to rate our own. It's been a long it's time. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. Hey, I'm getting older, yeah. It's been a week. Who it's been a week. <laughs> <laughs> Who gets to go first? Who gets to go first? I seem to have aged in that week. Yeah, I think it's time's over. I think it's all the snow we've had this winter is really doing me in. It's probably what it is. All right, we'll start on my right with Paul. He's out of the fields and he's I on the set. I wish I was in the fields because it's awfully cold up here. But uh, I'd rate this cigar a solid four. I think it's excellent. It's it's smooth. It's tasty, and it's inexpensive. I disagree. I'm gonna give, yeah. this, a, I'm gonna give this a four or five. It's, I, I'm blown away by this. I, how, I, I just forgot how good they were. Yeah. I did too. Well, I, I think learned colleague Paul is not factoring in the value <laughs> quotient and only going by comparison to cigars that are much, much more expensive in price. It's a 5.5. .5. I'm sorry. I disagree. Okay. And, and the rating <laughs> scale is 1 to 5, just yes. so you know. 1 to 5. I rate this a solid 4.6. Ooh. 4.6. What do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> I give this a uh, 4.75. Oh, wow. like it's cigar, just right? ramping up as we go. I, I really like this cigar. It's very, very good. It's a, it's a perfect morning cigar for me. Yeah. Something mild just to ease me into the day. I think it's very, very good. So. I mean, could this cigar replace your... No, it's not going to replace I don't, I don't the Romeo. I, didn't want, no. I wasn't going <laughs> to say that. I wasn't going to go that far. But. Well, I'm glad to you did. Okay. Um, I give this a 4.5, just like uh, Scott did. I think it's a great cigar. Um, very mild, um, nice aftertaste on my palate, uh, beautiful construction. So it's going to be one of my tops again. So great in tabulating cigar. these scores, whoop, it comes in at a solid 4.47.93. Hey, not bad. Very good. And that 9.3 is crucial. Yeah. That what put it right that? over the top. What was that little sound? What? <laughs> By the way, just so that was my calculator working. Uh, just so everybody doesn't think I'm rude and texting, I'm actually Instagramming. We're uh, we're on Instagram at Cigar Cigar. So uh, Instagramming during live the show. while we're doing the show, we you're Instagramming. Well, I wouldn't go far, that far, but 
Wow. Well, which part? The Instagramming or we're live? We're live. We're live. Are we live? Does that make I'm you a switch? I mean, I know I'm still tweet? alive. Yeah. Okay, are we ready yeah, for the, the cigar of the day? I, I think... Put I think, my phone away. I think Tia will introduce our Particus Black Label today. Yes. Uh, we're smoking the... Well, our new cigar is the Particus Black Label. The wrapper is a Connecticut Broadleaf. The binder is Dominican. Okay, and oh. the filler is Dominican and Nicaraguan. The sizes are Corona Gordo. Pyramid, Robusto, and Toro. And the flavor profile is peppery and buttery. I like the buttery and not too much of the peppery. I have a yeah. quick question. Yeah. yeah. Can I just, can I just finish that one? No, we can't. <laughs> no. We can't. No. We can't. I know. Relight it later. I was going to. Uh, I think we need to have the cutting and lighting ceremony. Yes, and I think it's appropriate. Check out the party gets lighter. The oh, party yeah. gets Very nice. lighter. Very nice. By with, the way. with a punch cutter behind and on the back. <laughs> Pretty good shot. Home run. <laughs> I show Can you get a close up of it? <laughs> we got it. Don't hate. I just got to show you guys. It's a, it's a new uh, <laughs> V cutter. Thank you. And you've yeah. got to see the depth of this cut. It's fantastic. It really opens the cigar up. It Can looks like it looks more like the Tennessee Valley. It that? does. It's it's a huge, but it's it's a great cut. I, I used to, I used it for the first time on the Eduardo. It does open it up well. It Do we have opinions as to the correct pronunciation of the name of this cigar? Partagas or par Partagas? Sure. Partagas. Partagas. I don't know what it's supposed to be. I don't know either. Well, so that is deep. Well, I was thinking black, see. actually, but never mind. Oh, that <laughs> is deep. <laughs> I know how they pronounce it in Cuba. That's all that counts. Partagas. 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 Well, then we'll say Partagas. They don't say Partagas. They <laughs> no. don't say Partagas. They say Partagas. Partagas? Partagas is close enough. Just got to slow it so down. So where are we at today? What's next? Um, I'm an orphan. Paul, where are you today? Oh, yeah, it's Paul in the fields. Oh, are we up to that already? Yeah. Are we ready? Wow. Oh, yeah. Are okay. we supposed to talk about this initially? Not yet. No, uh, not yet. We'll come back to this? Okay. Sure. Well, then let's get him out in the fields. Yes. Well, uh, you know, we've, we've been uh, beginning to look at different cigar countries, and uh, given that we're smoking a Partagas, mm -hmm. uh, which is made in the Dominican Republic, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Dominican Republic today. We've touched on it slightly in the past. Yeah, a couple but, shows ago, yeah. But we we were very brief, and there's a couple of more things that are worth saying. Okay. So the, say them. I will. So first of all, the Dominican Republic is actually the oldest country in cigar production, even older than Cuba. Uh, they began the first commercial production of tobacco and cigars in 1531. It took Cuba another 50 years to even get on the map as a commercial producer of oh. cigars. But interestingly, as soon as the Dominican Republic began doing this as a business, uh, it almost instigated a war because the King of Spain demanded that all tobacco and cigar products be exported via Santa Domingo so that he could uh, tax all of them. And as soon as he did that, Britain, uh, France, and Holland all began smuggling operations on the opposite coast of the Dominican Republic in Puerto Plata. And that's why the first real city of cigar production in the Dominican Republic, which is Santiago, it's still the main city for that, is exactly halfway between Puerto Plata and Santo Domingo, oh. so that the producers could do half of their business and ship it down to Santo Domingo legally, and the other half of their business went to the smugglers up on the north coast. So even before we were here, governments were putting in regulations and people were figuring out a way to get around them. Get around them, them. yeah. It's, wow. as, it's as old as the business. Funny how that works out. <laughs> yeah. Funny how that works. Yeah. Anyway, uh, the Dominican Republic remained absolutely dominant in the cigar industry until the mid-1800s, and then a weird bunch of things started to happen. Most importantly, Germany began buying up all of the Dominican tobacco and cigars, and they achieved a virtual monopoly in Dominican cigars. And once that happened, they started bankrupting a lot of the little producers by cutting down the amount of money they were willing to pay for the cigars. And the best of the cigar makers in the DR at that time went out of business. So the overall quality of Dominican cigars 
began to suffer a lot, and that's when Cuba really began to come on strong and become the leader in the industry. That continued right up until 1990, and one of the most important things in the history of Dominican cigars happened in 1990. That's when Davidoff, which at that time was the most famous brand in the world, took all of their cigar production out of Cuba and moved all of it to the Dominican Republic. And almost literally overnight, Dominican cigars once again began to rise in stature and volume. And since then, they've risen to become, once again, the real dominant player in the market. In fact, today, over 300 million cigars a year coming out of the Dominican wow. Republic. Wow, that's a lot of cigars. Yeah. Well, no, no, it's not when you consider how many Paul smokes in a cigar. <laughs> 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 he smokes half of them. You smoke half of them. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize it was that recent that Davidoff pulled out of Cuba. 1990. 1990, wow. yeah. Wow. That is uh, In the Dominican Republic, virtually all of the tobacco is grown in a valley just outside of the city of Santiago. That valley actually has two names. The people there call it the Yaqui Valley. Um, I don't know why. Um, and, and, and the Spanish call it the Cibao Valley, C-I-B-A-O Valley. Um, that's really where all of their tobacco comes from. And in essence, they really only have two breeds of tobacco down there. There is what's called Olor, O-L-O-R, which is the only native tobacco of the Dominican Republic. That's what was growing there initially. Uh, the other is a Cuban seed tobacco called uh, Piloto Cubano. And all of the other tobaccos that are produced in the Dominican Republic today are uh, hybrids of Piloto Cu uh, Cubano. Uh, and that includes, and most people don't realize this, Dominican wrapper was sort of a non-existent entity for a very long time until uh, Fuente came up with the Opus right. X and put the first commercially viable Dominican wrapper on the market. Uh, that was actually a hybrid Piloto Cubano uh, that, that he developed with the uh, Oliva family. Why, why was it yeah. so hard to yeah. grow wrapper tobacco? I was just going to ask you that. I've yeah. never understood. It just has to do with soil composition and uh, the soil is, is different in the DR than it is in Cuba, right. and much different than it is in the other countries scattered around the Caribbean and South America. Yeah, Nicaragua and Cuba are the closest right. you know, in, 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 in having the same type of growing condition. Is it just because they, they couldn't get the right consistency, they couldn't get the right flavor, the right thickness, it, it all was, the above? It was primarily a flavor issue. Really. I, oh, I agree with that. I still I don't, don't think like, they got I, it right. Yeah, I still don't think they got it right because I don't like the uh, Opus X wrapper. Yeah. So, but but today, unlike in yeah. the pa unlike in the past, today there are actually a lot of wrappers grown in the Dominican Republic. Yeah. Yeah. A lot more Dominican puros than there oh, have ever yes. been right. in the past. That's true. But all of those wrappers are some sort of hybrid of yeah. Piloto Cubano. I mean, Fuente clearly led the way. Yes. Yeah. And what about the other wrapper? The other tobacco. Which it it's the, the allure. The allure. And that's a very mild tobacco. It's from that that Dominicans get their overall reputation as being super mild cigars. Right, right. Mm -hmm. But in fact, today there are some very, very strong cigars that come out of the Dominican Republic. A uh, good example that comes to mind is uh, uh, any of the Lido Gomez stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. You know, yeah. the, the La Flor Dominicanas yeah. are about as strong as anything out there. That's these true. Days. Yeah. You know, I, I've always, I've always, I like Nicaraguan tobacco. That's my favorite. Yeah. And I, I, I've said I don't really like Dominican cigars and I don't like Dominican tobacco. But I think I've revised that that I like mild Dominican cigars. I don't like Dominican cigars and tobacco that tries to be too strong or too full bodied. Okay, I'm right there with you on yeah, that one. Yeah, yes. Because there are some Dominican cigars mm -hmm. that I do enjoy. The Partagas I think is very good. Um, you know, the Ash and the, the Davidoff right. are good, but yeah. those that try to be too strong, like the Opus and the ESG, I don't, it I don't enjoy that yeah, as much. Right. Or the Lido mm -hmm. Gomez, for that matter. I like, I like, I just, yeah, right there. Yeah, I like some of the Lido Gomez stuff. One of, uh, one of my all-time favorite cigars is a Lido Gomez, and that's it's unusual. It's the the small batch, the original small yes, batch, one of the best good. cigars I've it's ever had. Excellent yeah. cigar. All right, and Paul. 
Are you done? I can come back in from the fields now <laughs> and uh, freeze my butt Take off. Take a shower, have here some in lunch. Pennsylvania. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's, it's, it's time to move on to our first topic. And today's topic is going to be ventilation systems in your home. And our chief mm. ventilator, Scott, will... Uh, I'm an exhalator. <laughs> <laughs> More hot air. A, lo a, lo I lot think of, a lot of aiders. A lot of people ask me what's the, the best system, and, and there's all kinds out there, but the, the simple best method is just you got to try to Open a window and blow. Out. Yeah. Open one window, open another window, and have a... F you know, cross ventilation. Cross yes. ventilation. Have a fan sucking the air out. Um, you could, you could also hook up a duct system with a stronger fan, uh, something more than a kitchen fan, but the absolute best way to do it is to, you've, you've got to get rid of the smoke. Um, Take it out and bring in fresh. Yes. Bring, in fre yeah, bring in fresh is key. Well, you have to, otherwise you're going to create a vacuum and it, your, your fans and aren't going to work and they're going to burn out. And your house will cave in. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it did. The Metrodome caved in because of the, that's what happened. That's true. Yeah. 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 We yeah. Just yeah. Yeah. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of other systems. Um, there's one called the a rabbit air, which is actually really nice. It's a system that it, it actually cleans the air. It sucks it in. Um, it goes through a series of filters, and it goes out through a carbon, and it, it uh, circulates the air. That's perfect for like about a, a 500 square foot room. Um, they work really well. In fact, we, we have some in one of the one of our new stores. Um, there's a lot of other difference. Actually, there's a, I don't know if you guys can what? see that new up there, the Pure New store? Pure new store? New store? Well, we'll get to that. We'll get, no. to that. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Uh, there's the Pure Fan, which I think, I think a Pure Fan, we've tried them in the stores and the large square footage doesn't work as well, they work, but I they think work best in, smaller in a small, small area. area. Yeah. Yeah. It's something that hooks up to your, uh, if you have a... A man cave. A, a man cave, home, yeah. but it hooks up to a ceiling fan. There's one above us right now. Um, you can't, can't really see it, see it, it but, take but it's our word. Take our word. It's right there. And it's actually, it, I'm it's surprised. Like spinning around. It's yeah. actually working really well. It is. And it, it does the same thing. It sucks the air up. We haven't changed a filter in about five years. It's working <laughs> great. And it goes through uh, silver filters. and. Um, What's nice and about that air. system is that because it works on a regular ceiling fan, it's virtually silent. Yes. And Absolutely silent. And it ceiling is. fan motors unlike little cheap devices that you can buy for a yeah, tabletop, right. really, really, really just last forever. Exactly. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I get to see a smokeless ashtray that really works. No. no. I mean, it's... Not for a cigar anyway. No, it's kind no. of a joke. Now, cigars... is pretty close. Yes, the, the density of smoke in a cigar is a lot different than most other smoking. Yeah, and, if, and yeah. there's ventilation systems, and then one of the important things to remember is never, if you have a man cave or if you smoke in your home or, or your car, Never ever leave an old cigar butt in there because that's oh. that smell. Oh, man, it gets into the, it gets oh, into the cloth, mm -hmm. the rug, it gets into everything, and that's that stale odor that you smell when you come into a place where you know somebody smoked a we cigar. We have odor eaters here though too, just in case. Okay. okay. Yeah, but they're they're they mask the smell on a, a short. Bit. You want to you yeah. want to yeah. take it. You want to eliminate it. Yeah. Um, just have both. Or you spray it on your clothes or something. Just and, have um, both. I yeah. think there's electro. I've never tried it, but there's electrostatic. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've used those over the years. I don't know. I, I, I don't know but how they get well they dirty. Work. They get dirty very, very fast. Yeah. They get very dirty very fast. fast. And actually, one of the issues with the electrostatic is what makes them work is they attach an ion to the smoke molecule, and that makes it heavier, mm -hmm. and it falls out of the air. But you get a lot of dust. Well, it falls on the floor, or worse yet, it falls in the bottom of your lung. Mm. You don't mm. want that. You don't want that. Not so much. <laughs> no. yeah. All right. I, th I think it's now time to... Uh, talk about and review our Partagas Black. Uh, Tia, you want to start this off? Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tia, we're here. Just to I'm twist here. your arm a little bit. Here. You, okay, um, I do taste the pepper, uh, definitely. That's very bold. The buttery, I can definitely taste that. I'm getting some hints of chocolate in the wrapper a little bit. You guys get that taste. Um, this is one of my favorite cigars as well. I love a dark wrapper, almost an oscuro, this looks like. Um, beautiful construction, just a classic cigar. Rob? I concur. No, it is. Yeah. It's a very beautiful cigar. The <laughs> wrapper is nice and oily. Uh, even given that oily wrapper, it burns very, very well. Yeah. Uh, the construction is excellent, like Tia said. Uh, I'm getting a little chocolate, little, very little chocolate. I also get a lot of hints of leather in this cigar uh, and pepper. Um, I, I liked it. I think it's very good. It's very full body. It's a very full body cigar. You think it's a strong cigar? I feel the full body. I do. I, yeah, full I do. body? You think this, it's a strong cigar too? I think Just it is, yeah. Really? That's interesting. Me. That's me. 
Well, for my uh -oh. two cents, I don't think it's all that full body at all. <laughs> okay. I don't. And I'm sensitive to full body. I mean, I like them a little thin. No, no, no. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Rubenesque. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I, I concur. I, I get a little chocolatey taste. I get a little bit of leather. I'm not picking up a lot of pepper on the back of the tongue, but clearly it's a well-made cigar. It's good tobacco in the cigar. Yes. It's moderately priced. And it burns well, and, and it, leaves a, it has a very long and sweet finish to it. Yes. That's true. Like this kind of a cigar yeah. really should yes. have. It's sweet. Yes. I was, I was going to say, I get a little... I didn't get the spice that you normally get up front. I'm getting it a little later in the cigar, almost a real subtle like black pepper on the finish. Um, and yeah, I, I think this is more of a medium bodied. Like it's a very, very dark cigar and don't be afraid of that. No, no, yeah. not at all. Be, unless you're Rob. Yeah. Uh, but it's a more, <laughs> no. I, I find Rob it to be, likes the natural. I, think it's a, I think it's medium bodied and I get a lot of licorice or anise flavors from this cigar. Mm. Then maybe that's what I was getting. It's some type of sweet, Maybe it's the leather, licorice licorice leather, yeah. and a little bit of cocoa, but more okay. of the licorice for me. Okay. And it's, it's, I don't, it's medium. Well, I think this is what Connecticut Broadleaf yeah. is all about. Yeah, yeah absolutely, yeah. definitely. Yes. I, there is a reason that Connecticut Broadleaf has for a very long time been the Maduro wrapper of choice mm -hmm. when you can get mm -hmm. it, and this cigar delivers on that. Yeah, it does. It's absolutely. Uh, I don't find it to be a strong cigar at all, no. but boy, you get that, that creamy taste mm -hmm. and a really long finish mm -hmm. and that's terrific stuff lots of great smoke too it really fills your mouth yes yeah. it does it fills it the does. room too oh, I so I we the pure fans are good. good i know so we rating it yeah 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 okay i'll start i'll give it a solid 4.50 i give it a 4.25 i give it a 4.5 i'm with rob 4.25 on oh, the nose I know, it's scary. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm with Art and Tia. I think it's a 450. Oh. Hey, 3 to 2. 4.39. <laughs> nice. A solid 4.39. All right, for our next topic, we're going to talk about our top five cigars of all time. And today, we're going to start with number five. From each person, they're going to talk about their fifth best cigar. Starting with me? Yes. Starting with you. Well, <laughs> you spoke up. You mean my fifth best cigar today? No. no. <laughs> of all time. All time. Of all time. And, uh, excluding Cubans. And, and, excluding and, Cubans. And with you, that spans a lot of years. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, my fifth favorite cigar is um, not from a lot of years ago, and it's the La Roma de Cuba, the regular, ordinary La Roma de Cuba. Um, it's a great, rich, medium to full-bodied cigar. Uh, it's got a uh, Connecticut Broadleaf wrapper, again, although it's not a Maduro. And uh, the rest of the cigar is, in fact, uh, Nicaraguan. And it is delicious. Scott? Very good. Well, it, uh, shockingly, mine is going to be a Nicaraguan Puro. It's the Padron, <laughs> Padron 3000 Maduro, all Nicaraguan tobacco. Um, we've said it a thousand times. You cannot buy a bad Padron. In fact, in 10 years in the business, I've only had one customer ever tell me he didn't like a Padron. Really? Wow. Yeah. I'm shocked. Lots he must of, have been drunk. What did he do? Yeah, step on it or something? I don't okay. know what he did with it, but uh, lots Maybe of cocoa. Maybe he had a mail order. <laughs> lots of cocoa flavors, um, leathery, meaty, uh, and it's not going to burn a hole in your pocket. Um, it's, very, it's not a very expensive cigar for the regular 1000 series. Um, I, I mean, I, I can't say enough about it. Um, I love it with a nice glass of uh, vintage port and a steak. Ooh, Ooh. really? I'm going to have to try that. Invite me uh, next time. Yeah, yeah. you can have me yeah. over any time. Well, I guess it's my turn. We're allowed to include Cubans? No, 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 no Cubans. <laughs> All right, I'll skip me and go right to Rob. <laughs> <laughs> you blew me right out of the water. What? Well, because he stole what would have been mine. You so can say I was it. Coming it's number up. five. Number five. It's number five cigar. I love the, Go to the Padron, the Padron 3000. 3000, you know, Maduro. Oh, oh, man. Uh, what can I tell you? Hey, my notes like, you're allowed Here, to like whatever you notes? like. <laughs> no, I don't want to read your notes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You just have to take my word after 50, what am I, 52 years of smoking, the Padron 3000 Maduro is an excellent cigar, beyond excellent. Don't take our word for it. Primo di Primo. We, we just reviewed that a couple weeks ago. I know. It's we a did. great cigar, whether we reviewed, didn't review, yeah. whatever. It's a great, great cigar. cigar. Period. End of story. All right. Uh, mine is the uh, Perdomo 20th Anniversary Maduro. Nice. Ooh. It's a Habana Maduro with a Nicaraguan filler and binder. Uh, that came out uh, last year. Yeah. Uh, fairly new cigar. It's beautiful. It's a gorgeous wrapper. 
Um, Tia would love the band. <laughs> um, it tastes uh, a lot of chocolatey to me. Uh, medium to full bodied, very, very smooth. Uh, it's just, to me, my fifth cigar, it's awesome. I recommend it highly. I considered that. I actually, yeah. from, in my, yeah. It, it, it's well, making your number four. <laughs> no, I can't. It's my number six. Uh, uh, have we gone to six? Good. Nick, we'd be, you'd be there, buddy. Yeah, it's very, very good. Nick makes so. good cigars. Oh, yes. yes. Another one doesn't make a good cigar. Well, mine's going to be a shocker to you guys. Uh -oh, My fifth uh -oh. is the Arturo Fuente 858 in the natural. It's a wow. classic cigar. I never yeah. heard it called the 858 before. The 858? The construction's beautiful. It's always consistent in the taste, the draw, yes. the burn. Um, it has a pleasant aroma to it. Um, the uh, wrapper is a natural, and the filler and binder are both Dominican, which I'm not a big Dominican fan, but in this cigar, I am. It is, like we were talking about Dominican earlier, how if it's too strong, it kind of takes away from yeah. it. This one is nice and mild, and I just find it's like a go-to cigar. Very classic. Love the band. Is that a great, great Arturo Fuente? Ecuador and Connecticut, or is that? It's that's not Cameron. Cameroon. Like Cameroon. Is it Cameroon? Yep. Okay. And awesome. you can hear all about everything and read about a lot of new exciting things and great deals at our website, which is at ccigars.com. By the way, I, we, we yeah, would yeah. like it if you sent us a list of your five favorite cigars. Oh, we can oh, read yeah. them all, yeah. And, them. and you know, uh, just email it to us at, from the website, and what we're gonna do is combine all of your five favorites and come up with the overall five favorite cigars of our entire customer base. Great. Cool. Okay, awesome. Yeah, cool. That and sounds like we'll, we'll we'll keep you, you keep us posted on that, and we'll keep we'll you keep posted you post. on it. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. There's a lot of cool stuff on the website, too. Yep. Yeah. I'd like, to I'd like to just take a minute to uh, let everybody know we've added to the growing family of Cigar Cigar stores, uh, we've added two new stores. One in, uh, on uh, Lancaster Avenue in Malvern, at 432 Lancaster Avenue in Malvern. It's commonly called Fraser, but it's actually Malvern. And at 2908 Conestoga Road in Ludwig's Corner or Glenmore or Chester Springs. It goes by a lot of aliases. So I hope you'll stop by. Those stores have been there a long time. And uh, greet and meet the manager. We'll have a lot of nice deals and events going on at those new stores. And uh, we thank you for making it possible for it to, con to yeah, continue to grow. <laughs> and, go to mouthful. And service everybody. So with that... Uh, Time goes so fast. I mean, we're almost yeah, done. We have one minute left. We have one minute. So you want to do a little soft shoe or something? Or no, let's my talk about the website real quick. And oh, what's well, we on make there. it quick because we have to take a bite, too. Did you put my new pictures up there? Yes, there's oh, a new hottie picture. Did you see on the hottie page? nude pictures or new no, pictures? New oh, pictures. Oh, pictures. Not nude. Uh, we have, we have nude pictures. This is a family show, please. That's a different website. Yeah. Oh, okay. You have to pay for that one. Yeah. All you, right. you will also get to see our, our Max Packs combo deals and our Super Saver specials. I All love right. those. I and love with those. that, I think we ought to have a nice lingering goodbye. Smoke often and smoke happy, folks. Hi, Mom, and don't forget, life's too short to smoke a cheap cigar. That's right. That's true. Bye-bye for now, and hi, Dad. Oh, he watches yeah. every week. Uh, good night. Nice. Yeah. Ciao, everybody. <laughs> Ciao for now. <laughs> Thank you for Ciao, making Mom. us the... Highest rated TV cigar show in Yay! the United States. All time. We'll see you of next all week. All time. Woo! Woo! See you later.